Ashley Madison is a Canadian web-based adult dating company which actively promotes extramarital affairs. Their slogan even reads, Life is short, have an affair. Even before coming to Asia, Ashley Madison has been making waves overseas. It has been highlighted and debated on numerous global news broadcasts and daytime talk shows due to the controversial nature of its business model. The hubbub in the local press over the last few weeks has been over Ashley Madison's intention to launch a Singaporean chapter of their company by means of an online portal. Ultimately, the Media Development Authority of Singapore decided to ban access to the site from within Singapore and deny Ashley Madison a local domain online. We spoke to two Singaporeans, Frank and Gwenda, concerning the banning of Ashley Madison here and some of the issues it has raised. How do you feel about Ashley Madison's business model? It's more about what, how people use it and their intentions. Yeah. So, I mean, if, it's, if they're going in with adultery in mind, it really depends on different people's mindsets. I mean, some people might be more accepting and some people aren't. So, essentially, as, a, as an enterprise itself, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Yeah. What do you think of the ban the MDA imposed on Ashley Madison operating in Singapore? I don't think that there's any good reason to ban the company in Singapore as long as what they do is not related to drug trafficking or abusing on people so if it's a kind of weird activity but affecting only adults who are free and they decide what they do uh, I see no reason to ban it so actually I would largely agree with the ban though because from the government's viewpoint at least, I would think that the social good in that sense is slightly more important and given that Singapore is quite a conservative society, it might not be ready for such websites as yet. So, like basically from MDA's perspective, I would think it's more relevant to ban it, at least for now, until the society is more ready for it. Yeah. Did you know that 26,000 Singaporeans petitioned the government to ban Ashley Madison? I cannot say that I'm surprised because Singaporean society, in my point of view, is too much conservative in a negative sense. You can be conservative in a positive sense if you want to conserve good things. But when you want to conserve are those issues that drag you towards censorship, I don't think that this is a good idea. CEO and founder of Ashley Madison, Noel Biderman, says he won't cheat. Is he a hypocrite? I don't think so. It's like if you don't smoke but you sell cigarettes. I can't see any problem in that. Before the casinos were built, more than 30,000 Singaporeans petitioned the government to abort the plan. But they went ahead anyway. Why ban Ashley Madison but not casinos? If I were to contrast the case between the casinos and probably the Ashley Madison case, I would think that it's more of a cost-benefit kind of thing. So let's say in the case of the casinos, uh, even though it might be so-called social harm or a social, social evil in that sense, or maybe even a vice, but the economic benefit that it reaps might exceed what the government deems is a harm to society. Whereas for Ashley Madison, I mean, economically wise, it probably does not reap as much benefit. Yeah, and in view of the social social ill support that it gives, they probably decided to ban it. So I wonder whether that's actually a reason for the discrepancy in treatment. Yeah. Pornographic websites and magazines are against the law in Singapore, and thus such material is banned or censored. Is it alright to censor Ashley Madison, which is neither pornographic nor breaks any laws? So with regard to this issue about censorship or things that are so-called not against the law so far, I actually think it really depends from case to case because for this issue of adultery, I wonder whether it might be a stepping stone to something that might be cemented in law eventually. Yeah, so I saw that as um, a thing like, even though it's not illegal yet, it might not be legal in the future. Yeah, so there are always loopholes in the law, I guess. Yeah. So as we move forward, I think some of these so-called social ills might be eventually illegalized in that sense. Or maybe um, the other way around, like some of the things that are illegal now might be legalized in the future. Yeah. So I guess it's really 
it really depends on where our society goes from here. When you have in a specific society, any society, several sets of behaviors, there are three ways to focus on them. One way is if this behavior must be uh, prosecuted by law. On the other side, you have if this behavior is normal, so you don't have to prosecute it. But you have a lot of gray zones in the middle. These gray zones would be weird things like uh, cheating on well, weird or awful, like cheating on your wife, but they fall in the private sphere. So they are related to a private relationship. So it's not something uh, sh that people see in the street, it's at, at home. Whatever you do at home is your problem. So the government should not intervene. So it seems that although the MDA has made it stand clear by banning Ashley Madison, for everyday Singaporeans, the jury is still out.